You wanted to speak with me, Admiral. Ah, yes. Tell your men I want no slip-ups this time. The demonstration shall proceed flawlessly. Am I understood? Yes, of course, sir. They'll be ready. Good. Carry on. The rebel fighters are in range, my lord. Sigma Squadron stands ready, awaiting your command. Very well, Admiral. Engage the rebels. Nothing on my scanners, Commander. Copy that. Gen to patrol. Doesn't seem to be anything out here. I think this sector's secure. Let's take one more pass and get back to base. I hear you. And let's make it quick. I don't want to stay out here a second longer than necessary. What's the matter, Till? Don't tell me a hotshot pilot like you is afraid of a Triton triangle. No. Well, I'm, I'm not saying I believe in ghost ships or anything, but... You've got to admit there's been a lot of unexplained happenings in these parts for the last 40 years since the Battle of Triton. I mean, how can so many different things... What the... I've been hit! As you can see, Lord Vader, the units perform admirably. In fact, I think the whole project has proved quite impressive. Why, in a few years, what I see, Admiral Song, is just another one of your endless tests. I will not be impressed until I have, under my command, the full power to crush the Rebel Alliance. <laughs> Well, welcome guys, and welcome to another entry from the vault. So today we have Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, released for the PlayStation 1 in 1996, developed and published by LucasArts. Um, so I gotta uh, preface this real quick by saying that I could not get my original PlayStation 1 disc to work. I tried everything I could, but for some reason, the cutscenes were so screwed up, and I couldn't even get to the gameplay. I, I can't even explain what was going on. I tried to clean my disc. Uh, one of the cutscenes looked like it was something out of goddamn South Park, the way the cutscene was going. Um, I might show it after the actual, like, main part of this game, or the main part of this video. Not sure yet, but anyway, so this is a Star Wars rail shooter on the PS1. It's a sequel to Rebel Assault, Rebel Assault, but I never played the original. It uses FMVs for its cutscenes, and I think it was one of the first games to make full use of it. I love me a good Star Wars game, but uh, this one ain't it, ain't it, Chief. It's fine, I guess, but there's a level early on where you fly a ship similar to the Millennium Falcon in a very enclosed space, and I'm pretty sure I never got past it as a kid. So the game mostly takes place during the events of Empire Strikes Back. You take control of Rookie One, a moisture farmer from Tatooine. Sound familiar? While flying with his wingman on patrol near the planet Dryton, he receives a distress call from a YT-1300 transport, the Corellia Star, which is being attacked by TIE fighters. The pilot has crucial information about the Empire's new project. Alright, so let's get right into it. Alright, Chapter 1, The Drayton Triangle. Can't make it out, Commander. Hailing vessel, repeat your message. We read you, but you're breaking up. Repeat. This cargo vessel Corellia Star. We are here from the Battle of Fighters. Clear information is the the Alliance. The Empire has been much. 
new weapon. Darth Vader continues to destroy the Alliance. Repeat your message, Corellia. We have to be fine. They're boarding us. Oops. Okay, kid. Stay sharp. Watch your scanners for Imperial vessels. Too late, they've already seen us. And pick me up a Womp Rats nest of TIE Fighters at 042 Mark III. They're headed our way. Copy that. Switch to attack mode. Air 229 Mark IV. Interesting that they're using B Wings. Wouldn't be my first choice of an attack care, uh, ship. But okay. Here they come. Alright, so, gonna have to play this with the D-pad. So, as I said, it's mostly a rail shooter. They're coming in too fast! No, they're not. We can take them. Oh, good old TIE Fighters. Fairly fast and agile, but no defense. But they're not built for the defense after all. Ooh, got two there. Goes my ship. Well, let's try that again. They're coming in too fast. Got an extra life. Watch out, there's one on you. I can't see him. Check his starboard wing. Wait, okay, I see him now. Made it, barely. Good job, kid. Now let's go find that freighter. That was 88% accuracy? Okay. Whatever, whatever you say, game. Stay alert. We lost a patrol in this sector three days ago. I've also got a funny feeling about those ties we encountered. I know, me too. There's no way they could have gotten from the freighter to us so quickly. Maybe it's true what they say. 
Now don't start telling me any phantom fighter tales. Jeez, you farm boys will believe anything you hear. Wait, I've got a fix on an emergency distress beacon. It's on a civilian channel. It might be the Corellia. Oops. Goodbye. Oh, nope, not dead. Where'd they come from? Rookie One, do you copy? Are you alright? Rookie One, come in. Can you hear me? I'm still here, but I'm in bad shape. I can't hold it. I'm going down! Eject, kid. Eject! Oh, he's probably dead. Yep. Rip. Should have brought X wings, not B wings. Very poor choice of craft. Clear, sir. Nothing here but sand leeches and claw mice. Good. Stay alert. Sensors tracked a rebel ship going down in this sector. They probably didn't survive, but you never know. Yeah, right. All right, time to blast us some Imperial scum. All right, time for the time crisis segment. Oh yeah. This is very silly. <laughs> Again. I like how they're just disintegrating it when they hit that the, when they hit the track there. Careful, did you see what it do to those stormtroopers? Also, these aren't lore accurate stormtroopers, they're hitting things. Here we go. This part, uh, sucks. But yeah, as you can see, very similar looking ship to the Millennium Falcon. A Corellian cruiser. Stop that ship! Blast him! Oh yeah, Vader's gonna kill you. So yeah, this part ain't great.
Falcon's cool and all, and these ships in general are pretty cool, but I hate how they control. They're very sluggish. See, see what I mean? This is not fun. We're, we're, we're already about to die. Yeah. This part is not fun. How the hell do Han and Chewie control this thing? Very carefully is the answer. Give this a good old college try, but uh, there's probably a good chance I'm not surviving this level. That part with all the pipes is just brutal, man. Well, there you go. That's uh, that's Star Wars Rebel Assault 2 for you. What a game.
The rebel fighters are in range, my lord. Sigma Squadron stands ready, awaiting your command. Very well, Admiral. Engage the rebels. Well, welcome guys, and welcome to another entry from the vault. So today we have Star Wars Rebel Assault 2. Released for the PlayStation 1 in 1996, developed and published by LucasArts. So this is a Star Wars rail shooter on the PS1. It's a sequel to Rebel Assault, but I never played the original. It uses FMVs for its cutscenes, and I think it was one of the first games to make full use of it. I love me a good Star Wars game, but uh, this one ain't it, Chief. It's fine, I guess, but there's a level early on where you fly a ship similar to the Millennium Falcon in a very enclosed space, and I'm pretty sure I never got past it as a kid. Uh, so this game mostly takes place during the events of Empire Strikes Back. You take control of Rookie One, a moisture farmer from Tatooine. Sound familiar? While flying with his wingman on patrol near the planet Dry Dryton, he receives a distress call from a YT-1300 transport, the Corellia Star, which is being attacked by TIE fighters. The pilot has crucial information about the Empire's new project. So, uh, the FMVs may not actually work well. I think something might actually be wrong with my disc, but, um, we'll see. Okay, I, I guess that's fine. Okay, chapter one, the Drayton Triangle. Oh, nope, nope, cutscenes are not working, so I am not gonna worry about seizures here. Wait, what's going? Buh? 